Welcome. I'd like to introduce you to the ACT function propulsion for an outboard. In many applications, it's no better or worse than an open propeller. But in situations that require working in and around the water, special rescue operations, navigating through crowded or uh, unfamiliar waters, it has proven to outperform the propeller uh, in many, many ways. The Durajet consists of four major components. They are the stator housing, the rotor which is mounted on the prop shaft, the rotor housing, and the exhaust extension nozzle. Unlike the other jets that are on the market, the Durajet is, has a forward-facing rotor and produces a different type of thrust generation. In a standard propeller, you have an elliptical or an oscillating generation of thrust. And in the Durajet, you have a straight line focused flow of water coming out of the stator nozzle. The stator housing is the part that's removable, which allows you access to the rotor. Notice these veins inside. This is the part that straightens out the water after it comes off the rotor. The rotor is a five blade rotor which sits on the prop shaft just like a propeller and it has a rubber hub which is pressed inside the rotor. The rotor housing is the entry point to the jet which is forward facing and this is the part where the water comes in. The other part of the Durajet gear case is the exhaust extension nozzle. Since the exhaust is not through hub, it has to be located above the prop and the exhaust from the engine exits right here on these points.